Welcome. Our 2021 NFL Big Data Bowl submission is called Check the Tape, He's Wide Open, a target agnostic evaluation method for cornerbacks and wide receivers. We had three goals for our project. First, we wanted to quantify cornerback and wide receiver performance on all routes. This includes targeted and non-targeted routes. Second, we wanted to develop a system for finding undervalued players at these positions. Lastly, we wanted to investigate how NFL teams could optimize man-to-man -man matchups across the given game by maximizing cornerback and wide receiver win probabilities. We took a three-step approach to achieve these goals. First, we classified coverages as man-to-man -man or zone for every receiver cornerback matchup. Then, for all man-to-man -man routes, we modeled the probability that a receiver would beat his defender and make a successful play, which we define as either a catch for positive expected points added or a drawn pass interference penalty. Lastly, we took this success metric and put it into a head-to-head -head comparison model to develop player ratings for all receivers and cornerbacks. Now, starting with the coverage classification, we used an XG boost model, which is a gradient boosting approach that works well with the complex, high-dimensional player tracking data provided by NextGen Stats. Our model achieved 77% accuracy for predicting the type of coverage on each route. Not surprisingly, variables such as the separation between a corner and its receiver and the speed and orientation of the corner relative to the receiver and the QB were the most important predictors of this model. So using those coverage classifications, we isolated man-to-man -man routes to compare receivers and corners head-to-head. -head. We were able to predict with 70% accuracy whether a receiver would beat his defender on a given play. The features which were most impactful in this XG boost model were the separation between the corner and his receiver, the depth of the route, and the difference in the two players' orientations. We believe our accuracy could still be enhanced further by implementing other proven effective approaches such as Bayesian additive regression trees. Let's check out an example of these models in action. During a week three matchup between Green Bay and Washington, Aaron Rodgers threw an incomplete pass to a heavily guarded Randall Cobb However, if you look closer at the play, Devontae Adams had beaten cornerback Quinton Dunbar on his route downfield, and our model gives him an 80% probability of success on that route, despite the ball not being thrown his way. In this sense, our approach is target agnostic. We plugged our estimates of every head-to-head -head matchup from the 2018 season into an EWO model to assign each cornerback and wide receiver a strength rating that we call target agnostic player EWO, or TAPE. This score assesses the skill of cornerbacks and wide receivers in man-to-man -man matchups and can be utilized to calculate the probability of route success for a matchup of any two players at wide receiver and cornerback. The final tape ranking of cornerbacks from our model shows all pro cornerback Stephon Gilmore as the top cornerback from the 2018 season and features three pro bowlers in the top 10, which is some validation, but also suggests there could be many undervalued players. Additionally, a player's tape can be observed week by week in order to assess his relative performance across the different games that he plays. These ratings can be applied by NFL teams in a number of different settings. When it comes to finding and evaluating talent at the cornerback position, our tape metric correlates well with salary and can therefore be used to find undervalued players. In fact, our model of the 2018 season identified each of the top PFF graded cornerbacks from the 2020 season that were active in 2018 as undervalued players. Clearly, this shows that teams could implement the tape system to find bargains at cornerback before the rest of the league catches on. NFL defenses could also use the tape rating system to optimize their weekly matchups and pass coverage. ELO ratings allow us to calculate the predicted success of every possible cornerback wide receiver matchup, and we can use these probabilities to predict the defense's overall success for each combination of matchups against a given opponent. Teams can pick the combination of matchups that maximizes their probability of winning every route on a play to optimize their success defending passing plays. So, for example, if the Patriots were facing the Packers, matching Stephon Gilmore up with Devonta Adams and putting Jonathan Jones on Randall Cobb would increase the New England defense's chance of winning all routes on a pass play by more than two percentage points over putting Gilmore on Cobb and putting Jones on Adams. An increase that large, experienced over the course of an entire season, could have a massive impact on a team's overall success. We have developed an effective method for evaluating players at cornerback and wide receiver using the spatio-temporal features provided by the next-gen stats tracking data. Our tape rating system can be utilized by NFL teams for week-to-week -week game prep and for long-term roster construction in order to substantially improve on-field success. We hope to see this method utilized by teams in the future, and we would now like to welcome any questions from the judges. Thank you to Michael Lopez and the NFL for this opportunity, and thank you all for listening to our presentation.